evening, everyone. Oh, hold on. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. And I hope you stream uh, cooperates today. Last week, it wouldn't let me record. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if it behaves today. So anyway, it is the one you got, Erica. But it was supposed to, it wasn't supposed to come with the pickup and the the metallic inks and the extra mat. Because I looked on the list on Amazon. It had the three different things and it had check marks beside what was included. And those other things and I even checked when they got back. So anyway, maybe. Well, exactly. Oops for them is right, Carrie. If they if they put them on the wrong shelf, if someone shelved them wrong, then that's not my fault, is it? <laughs> anyway, that's okay. I'm happy. So I've been cutting some, <laughs> some stencils. But I've also had a little trial, a few trials and errors. Because on the... Okay, let me draw it on here. Alright. On the front where you load your mat, okay? So this is the, oops, hello, still got sticky there. So on the front of the Cameo, and these are the rollers, okay, where you load your mat. That's the roller bar, all right? Okay, all along the front, there are grooves like this. And I assume that that's to help keep your mat flat as it goes in. Okay? So here I was all along lining up my mat on this furthest line to the left. And I noticed it wasn't grabbing this wheel very well. And every now and now, so, so sometimes it would work, but sometimes my pay, my mat would go all wonky and I, I ruined at least 10 cuts of plastic. At least 10, if not more. And I think I just dropped some of my stencils. Blech. Darn it, I'll never find them on the floor right now if I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And so here I thought I was doing something wrong. Something was weird with my scan and cut issue, you know. Whew. So, Anyway, so, but this morning, this afternoon, I noticed there's another tiny little line and it doesn't even sit as high as these ones and there's an arrow beside it. And I'm like, oh, duh, that's where I'm supposed to line up my mat. <sighs> anyway. So I finally figured it out after I wasted about 10 pieces of plastic trying to figure out why on earth my mat wouldn't go in right. So now I took my Sharpie and I rubbed it along the edge of this groove. So this groove where I'm supposed to line up is now black. So I will always get it right. Because remember with my 10% vision, I didn't even see this other little line there. So yeah. Yeah, I know, Jen. It's like, oh, speaking of light bulb, I think I'll have to turn this on. Yeah, so, it, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, I'll do that last. I'll do that last. I'll do this one last. Okay, so, let me move my stencils here. So, Last week, last Tuesday, well, the first thing I did when I got my cameo was start cutting stencils, of course. <sighs> anyway, so, first map I cut, I didn't have the cut line sorted right so that I had a nice border. And the streets were too narrow. So I found this mat, this map image that has thicker street lines. And so it's not as flimsy because the other one I ripped trying to just get it into my binder. So I knew there was no way it would last long enough for me to do anything with it. So here's my map stencil. And 
uh, anyone who has a cameo as I get these my stencils all traced and turned into a silhouette um, file I'm more than happy to send you any of my stencil files as a silhouette file uh, I have no problem sharing actually maybe I'll put them right up on my uh, no I'm not gonna put them up on my blog I'd rather people just get to uh, contact me individually yeah I think that's what I do so yeah yeah I know eh, Sharon well you know what Jen I get 12 of these these file folders that I use I have to go out and hunt for more they're Pendaflex essentials at my dollar store look at that whoops hold on 250 for a pack of 12 so for 250 <laughs> except for the ones I waste I can cut 12 like 11 by 8 one side makes 11 by 8 one side will make 11 by eight, almost 9 stencils so I can cut 24 of them for 250 that's not too bad it's only five cents a stencil cheap 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 so that's what I've been using and they're a little thicker than the you there's um, plastic index dividers that you can get as well um, these are well actually I shouldn't say they're thicker I guess they are but they're certainly firmer plastic they're firmer plastic yeah <laughs> Oh, so anyway. Yeah. So there's my map one. Very happy how that turned out. Let's put them up there. Then this one I call cobblestone walk. So it's just kind of like a brick walk. Now all of these, I, no, no, I shouldn't say all of them. The map, a lot of them I create from JPEG files that I found find online. If you um, look for blank, uh, whatever, like cobblestone clip art or cobblestone line art. Line art is another one that's good because that gets you the black and white ones. So this came from actually from a Moroccan file, a Moroccan tile file. So... Hey, Carol. Yeah, it doesn't matter the color. The index dividers are all different colors. And I mean, once these get stained by paint, then you can see anyway. <laughs> then there's this one. Now this one, I don't know, this annoys me because I don't know how it happened. And people are gonna laugh at me. But this, this one, look at it. It's not in line. I don't know what happened. It's off the line. Oh, Tetra Shapes. Yes, Pavla. Cool. Cool. So this is, you remember my crescent one that I used before that makes it look like 3D, almost like Lego tiles? I used it on, where is it? Where's that page? Oh, hold on. Remember last week I used, the, oh, which one did I do last week? This is last week's. And it kind of makes them pop like Lego tiles. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. So then this one will do the same thing with the squares. There's, here is my 3D tunnel. I like this one. I think this is my favorite one. I love that. Isn't that cool? Now this was not from a, this was not from a clip art. This is, this one I designed myself. So. What 
blade setting. Um, for these thin, I have it set on the stencil material, even though I'm not using Silhouette stencil material. I have the blade depth on three. Um, I haven't tried two. It might still work on two, but it's pretty good with three. It doesn't mark up the mat too much. Um, and then I have the speed on four and then um, on the depth underneath the speed. Um, for their stencil material, it comes up to 33, but I've moved it all the way down to 12 and it still cuts fine. So that's blade depth three on the actual blade. And then in the settings, um, click on the stencil material, then um, then speed I'm cutting at four because it comes up at two. So I cut at four, then uh, depth there at um, 12. So yeah. So this is my favorite stencil that I've designed so far because I just love that. I just love it. So I think you guys will see me using this a few times. Okay. And then this is another Moroccan tile one. Welcome, Dee Dee. Moroccan tile. Then there's this one. Now I had another one that was similar to this that only had four of these um, thingies on it. It only had four little triangles on it. But because the lines were bigger, longer, these little um, pieces of plastic in between were flimsy and they broke really easily. So I just created more blades. Um, and there it's much sturdier so hey seven yes yeah, single cut yeah you do use you do use thicker acetate from what I can see on yours you actually use mylar so it's probably denser as well as thicker like it's probably a denser plastic yeah That's right. Yeah, and Paula remembered to, to write in capitals. For those of you who are new to my stream, I only have 10% vision. I also, because I use a different chat program so I can enlarge my text, I use Colloquy Chat. So I don't see the question mark and I, I only see the basic smiling emoticons. So if you have a question, please just type that you want me to see. Type it in all uppercase. I'll know that you're not yelling at me. Um, it's just so I can see it. So, yeah. So, yeah. And then I have these cool ones. So, I have this hands and up hands up oh things must be really really leg today I'm still recording so I'm gonna keep my eye on that so um, none of my mods are here yet so um, ha Eileen would you like to be my mod <sighs> I know. I'm taking a risk. A big risk. But there you go. Of course, by the time Eileen's done, everybody's going to be mods. But anyway, that way she can open. You like that one, Joycey? So, of course, oops, I have a little in-between piece there that I didn't get out. Oh, another one. <laughs> little in-between pieces stuck in there. So... Oops, 
Sorry, I guess I didn't go back through and get all the little bits out of this one. All right, so I've got the stencil and I've got the mask. Jazz hands. Sorry, couldn't resist. And then I have a few of smaller stencils in this. And they're actually, I had space on the, I had space on the plastic. So what I did was I made the hands in different sizes. Oh, where did my little hands go? I lost my little hands. I lost my baby hands. Hmm, maybe they're, no, they're not still on the mat because I've used the mat since. Oh. No, that's not it. Hmm. I don't know where my little hand mask went, but anyway, I got the stencil. So I've got the hands in different sizes. So. Yes, everything cool, Jen. Everything is cool uh, is lickable to Joyce. Joycey. So, yes. So I don't know where my little jazz hands went, but uh, anyway. Okay, so just one moment. I do have to put these away. I have extra pages in here waiting for stencils. So, and I'll put the, oops, almost dropped that. I'll put the mask in with the stencil. And see my 12 by 12 stencils just sit out the side, but I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna put all the hands in the same pocket. All the sizes. I don't care if my 12 by 12 stick out the side of the binder. Doesn't matter to me. And I'm just use, um, oh, for goodness sakes. Hold on. I don't want them to get all, just a second. I've got to dig my hand in here. I don't want them to get all messed up. There we go. Um, doesn't matter to me if they stick out. I just use 12 by 12 scrapbooking pockets and I put a piece of paper in so I can put a stencil on each side so oh yeah that's a good idea Jen hey Dixie that's right they are praise hands Joycey mm-hmm Okay, so if they're hard to see in here until I get paint on them. Once I get paint on them, I won't have to worry about losing them because I don't clean my stencils except to clean them off on a piece of paper. So as you can see, and my favorite one. Okay, hold on. This one's a little tough getting into the... Hold on. There we go. I think I need to trim the end here a little bit. It's going to be too high for my... Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. 
believe me, the only part of my desk that's clear is the part that's right in front of me. I've got stuff piled up to the wazoo. Oh, hold on. I need to trim a little off this edge too. Of course, I couldn't cut straight if my life depended on it, but anyway. Too lazy to get my trimmer out. Hold on. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Day. All right, I may need this as well. So I've got smaller ones back here in Project Life. Folders. Okay. Hey, Jeannie. Nice to see you. Okay. Now, actually, I think I'm going to start a new recording, or dare I risk it? I'm not going to risk it. Last week when I tried to start a new recording, it wouldn't let me start a new recording, so I'm just going to keep going. People will have to fast forward if they want to get to a certain part. Okay, um, so as most of you know, last uh, Wednesday evening in my city, um, a young 24-year-old man took it upon himself to be all powerful and took to the streets with a semi-automatic rifle. And he also had a pump action uh, shotgun and he had a crossbow. He didn't use either of those though. And he had a knife. And he strutted down the street so that he would be completely visible to everyone in the neighborhood so that they would call the police. And when the police were called, he abruptly fired on them. Um, the first time he killed one male officer, that first shooting happened um, right next door to one of my friend's houses. Um, so this all happened right in a residential area. And then he kept going and by the time backup got there, um, he was a little farther away and he shot four more officers, killed two of them and two of them were injured. Now one is still in the hospital but she is recovering um, and is going to recover. The other one was released from hospital the next day after some minor surgery. But three officers are dead and two of them have children. One has a wife who's six months pregnant. So I'm going to do a tribute page first. Um, oh, so the city was in lockdown for 30 hours because he escaped into the woods right behind this subdivision. And so And uh, uh, so he went into the woods and the officers, the RCMP um, are actually the police for even force. Normally the RCMP in Canada are the, um, are the police force for the non, for the non towns and cities. And a lot of most cities have their own police force. But in Moncton, they decided, I guess about 10 years ago, that it was more profitable for them to actually hire the RCMP 
as our city police rather than maintaining our own police force. So that is what Monk, the city of Moncton does. We use the RCMP actually as our city police. Um, and so that is why it was the RCMP that responded in this case. Um, within uh, two hours, there were policemen, uh, RCMP officers from all over the province. Um, they the police commandeered, they have a couple of SWAT um, RVs that are like bulletproof, but they also commandeered two Brinks trucks so that they would have um, armored vehicles so they could safely um, patrol the area. Um, and by later that night, there were over 300 officers in our city. They had cordoned off the area where they knew he was. Um, he was spotted the next morning on a street corner, probably out trying to find some food. Um, but they didn't get him. He escaped. And they didn't catch him until 1230 midnight on the Friday morning. And it had started raining about eight o'clock in the evening but by 10 o'clock it was pouring rain pouring rain and he got soaked by this time he's tired um probably been up for days in the woods and of course because the weather's warm now and it was raining the mosquitoes would have been horrible Anyway, he was spotted in someone's backyard. He was probably trying to find a shed open or a tent somewhere to hide out of the rain. And he got seen and they called the police and he was captured. He gave up. I mean, his guns made him so brave he couldn't even do suicide by cop or suicide by his own weapon. He was so brave. Anyway, he uh, gave up. And they arrested him in actually one of my former students' yards. So he is now a prisoner. And let's just say, I don't think he's going to get high quality. Well, he'll get, he'll get fair treatment from our, don't, don't get me wrong. Our guards will treat him fairly, but let's just say he won't get any special privileges <laughs> from our prison guards. Let's just say. Anyway. Uh, so, no, actually, Carrie, not the Canadian version of the FBI. We have the, we have our Secret Service. Um, no, they're the Canadian version of state troopers, actually, is what they are. Canadian version. And they always get their man. That is their motto. And they did. They did. So, the memorial's tomorrow for the police officers. They're holding it in our Coliseum. And there's going to be a full dress mounty parade, mounted police parade beforehand. So they'll be coming from all over Canada. Representatives will come from all detachments all over Canada. And I assume they'll have their parade. They have a dress uh, parade corps, a dress corps, a drill corps. They have a mounted police corps. They'll probably all be here. So anyway. Anyway, well, yes, that's true, Carrie. They are. They're federal. They are federal, but they're, yeah, it's true, kind of. I know, Pam, sometimes I think the mosquitoes would have killed them, but anyway. Yeah, they are federal. You're, you're right. They are federal, but they're kind of like, yeah. Anyway, it's hard to explain. They're the police force that polices all the parts of our country that are not within a city or town limits. Okay, how about that? The RCMP police all of the country that's um, not within city limits that, because within most city and town limits, they have their own police force. So all those rural areas, but then there are also branches that deal with federal crimes. Okay, like there's a branch of the, um, RCMP that are our drug police so could because drugs are a federal law um, so they deal with all those types of things so there is always a branch that still works within cities but they're not the main police force uh, anyway hard to explain so I've got this canvas paper 
and I should show you my uh, what I cut out here. Whoops! That was a roll of tape, masking tape or brown paper tape. So this is the other, these are, this is the index dividers. It, it feels about the same, well, it's hard to tell the thickness, but it's certainly not as, as sturdy. It, it's more bendable. So I've got this. Okay. So I've got the Mountie. All right, and I've got the flag, and then the two pieces, where are they, wherever they are, where are the two pieces of flag? I don't know where the flag went. Where did the flag go? Uh-oh. Uh, this is what I need anyway. I don't need the flag. I don't know where it went, but it was here. <sighs> so, and then I also have this. Oops, that didn't come out. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Washi tape here that's getting in my way. I don't know why I have washi tape here. Alright, so I'm going to put these up here out of my way for now. And I think I am going to do I want to use a sponge or do I want to use I'm going to use my jelly plate later on I guess I should move this out of my way I think I'll sponge it's one of my favorite painting techniques is sponge Where's suddenly? I know who you mean, but you don't mean. Okay. So my favorite paint to use for the sky is my blue green, if I can find it here, blue green, my blue green. And I'm going to use green for the grass. Okay, and I'm putting some of this turquoise. Turquoise by Craft Smart in with the blue green by PBO, just for a little texture in the sky. And to help with a little texture in the grass. I'm going to add in, oh, wait now, hold on, that one's too light, I think. Hold on. Yeah, here's a tiny bit hum, of holiday green. Um, where did this one come from? Oops. All right. So, I'm just going to use a piece of paper. Where is my piece of paper?
Mm. Actually, I like this piece better. Okay, here we go. Deadly, yeah. <laughs> well, it is grass. Oh, I need the blue first, doing the sky first. this is going to be a big enough difference or not uh, maybe we'll see I'm going to put some clouds on there anyway so oh it's just started raining pouring suddenly just because I was talking about it I guess It is absolutely pouring out there. I was like, what do I hear? Wow, and it's windy. A wee storm coming through. I didn't think we were supposed to have any rain. We're supposed to have sun for the next four days. Huh, must be nice to be a weatherman. Oh no, Sharon, what did you say to our Joycey? She doesn't forget. Don't think she'll forget by Wednesday. You know she doesn't forget anything. I still have to get use paint more often because I'm still not very good at figuring out how much paint I need for areas and stuff. She is an elephant. Oh, her wonky halo. <laughs> well, you know. Poor Joycey. <clears throat> we all must live our, you know, trials. Okay, I guess I'll start a piece of paper with extra paint because I put way too much blue out. Let's see how much I can cover. So let me put this aside for a minute. I'm just going to use up my extra paint. Carol's fault, uh-huh, I see. Yeah, so I hear Jen. By the way, if though, for those of you who may not have, Jen is someone we met at Patty Stream, and she's Pam's daughter, Pam K, right? So, yeah. Yes, 
some paper started there. Look at that yumminess around the edge there. <laughs> Sharon playing dog with her halo as a frisbee. Okay, hold on. Need to find my heat gun, which is sitting under my uh, stuff here. There we go. Oh, Pam, good one. Okay. What's your mom's screen name on here? Jen? On you straight, what's your mom's screen name? This is going to be a fairly simple layout. Almost dry. So this is canvas paper that I got at our dollar store, five bucks, no, five fifty for ten sheets. So that's cheap. So I looked at uh, I looked at Michaels for not the same brand, but but the um, Strathmore brand of canvas paper, and it was let's just say a lot more expensive. Even with the coupon, it was way more than five fifty for the ten sheets. Goodbye. I'm an instigator. Wait a minute. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is Pam Goodman. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's just, we... That's right, because there's always two or three Pams in the room, like patties. Okay, so there's that, and then I'm going to, coincidentally enough, this one fits totally the opposite way. Isn't that interesting how that happens? Huh. Hmm. Don't need as much green, obviously. kitchen sponge six for a buck I do have some cosmetic sponges too but Oops, sorry, down off the screen there a little bit. And I need a little more because in order to make it, uh oh, oh, I put it down too far. And I need to grab um,
Okay, before I do this, I'm going to... Take my Timmy scissors and a cut all all the gift card. Sorry, if I'm not watching Chad here, and I've got my tongue out one side of my mouth here. I'm just uh, trimming up this card so that I can uh, scrape a wee bit with it. Hopefully, I'll get the outcome I want. We shall see if it works. Oh, hold on. Need a little bit of the dark green, too. Now, I know I'm trying to be perfect, but what can I do? It's just who I am. Now, now I'm going to take this credit card that I've kind of messed up and I dip it in my paint. Let's see if this works the way I want it to. Good. Hoped it would. Oops. Baby wipe, baby wipe. Quick, quick, quick before it dries. Gee. Baby wipes either come too far out of the bin or they don't come far enough. Say hi to Pam. Okay. Hey, Pam. <laughs> See, Jan, I, told, uh, I knew it wouldn't take long before you started causing trouble. And she says, oh, I'm an instigator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Now, this little trick with the credit card, I learned from watching Lindsay, the frugal crafter. She does a lot of watercolor stuff and she does this to get texture in her flowers and leaves and stuff. Now she, I don't think she trims hers up. I think she just uses the corner of the credit card, but I thought, well, hey, if it works with just the corner, it would work with a little bit like grass. There we go. Alrighty. Hey! Hi Kyla! Nice to see you. Are you all ready for tomorrow? Woohoo! Thank you Eileen. Thank you, Kyla. Thank you, everyone. So, everyone, Kyla is, uh, I mean, make sure links are on. Kyla is giving hands creative there, and she's going to do her first Ustream show tomorrow. 
4 o'clock Eastern. So we all have to be there tomorrow to support her. Make sure you put your link up there, uh, Kyla. So we can all find you. Hey, LJ. Nice to see you. So for those of you coming in late, I'm doing a tribute page to the three RCMP officers that were killed la at the end of last week and are uh, shot, murdered, and the two that were injured, but who, thank heavens, are recovering. And um, by the way, on Friday, he was taken into court for his first hearing. It was all of five minutes. And actually, it was my old former vice principal's um, husband who was the judge. And uh, he was held over without bond. He didn't say anything, but it was basically a charge hearing. So he was charged with three counts of first degree murder and two counts of attempted murder. We don't know if there's going to be, we don't really have a terrorism law in, in, um, in Canada, but there are some other charges that he could, that could be laid at a later date, like, um, causing, um, dangerous situation for civilians and stuff like that. That could also be, uh, laid, so. So I'm going to uh, hold this up a little bit so you guys can see a little closer. So there's the texture that I got in there. And it's still a little wet on this side over here. And not much, but just a little damp. Okay, so there you go. There's her link. Click on her link and click follow and 4 o'clock Eastern tomorrow she will be starting. I'll do that last. I'll do him just off center. And then I'll do the flag right here. And those are going to be silhouettes. Yes, luckily I wasn't in the lockdown area. Over 5,000 homes and businesses were in an area that was locked down. They weren't allowed to leave or go or come for um, 30 hours, people were uh, locked, you know, in their basements because, you know, we thought he wasn't going to, you know, as it turns out, it was true. He did not want to hurt any civilians. He actually walked by a whole bunch of civilians, looked them in the face uh, with his guns on and walked past. He had no intention of killing any civilians, um, only police officers. So, but, I mean, still, you can't take the risk that in, you know, some situation, he might panic and injure someone. So, you know, you just can't risk it. So that people were locked in their houses for 30 hours. Schools were closed for two days, thank goodness. And uh, even after they found him at midnight, they didn't open schools on Friday. But, so. I made them myself, Kyla. I made, cut my own stencils with my Cameo. So, here comes the RCMP officer. These are going to be in silhouettes. So I'm doing them in black.
Yep, I've done a lot of... You missed my flip through all my new stencils. I'll be using them after I do this tribute page. But I made quite a few stencils this week. little bit of a messy stenciler. I can fix that later. Oh, who's who's that, Pam? Tiara on Wednesday. Too late, Jen. It's already done. And I'm not sure why his... It went under the... I wonder if I can scratch that off. Hold on. Where is my point pokey tool here? Well, I'll use a... Oh, no. Hold on. There's my pokey tool, but I don't really want to use my pokey tool. Here, I'll use a... It went underneath the stencil. There we go. Put more grass on top of them uh, later if I need to. Yeah, so okay. Now, I have to use not so much paint. That's my another one of my issues. Too much paint on my sponge and then it goes all over and I don't get a nice clean stencil image. But, uh, well, you know, not all about. It's so funny because some sometimes I'm all about perfect and sometimes I'm not so it's very strange I can't figure myself out oops <laughs> got an odd little uh, oops there on my so let's see if I can fix it oh good Jean no 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 back sponge like I say a little too much paint in some cases I'll scratch it and then I'll paint over it later. Okay, let's dry that black. Have to add some clouds here. You gonna excuse me? Dear Snap www.tierasmith.com Eileen, can you tweet that um, link to me, please, so I don't lose it? Oh, thank you, Eileen! The next, the next thing I read was, I'll tweet you the link. <laughs> thank you! Oh, dear. Yes, I can fix it up later if I feel I really need to. Uh, thank you, Eileen. I just heard the link tweet come through. Okay. Now. Okay. I need to add some clouds and I'm going to use silver to add my clouds. Mm -hmm. 
This is PBO Silver, Iridescent Silver, it's called by PBO. Mm. Oh, sponge. That's my left. Oh, that's blue. That's green. There's my leftover silver. Okie dokie. Dab off. Dab on, dab off. I have to keep Julie, Faith, and Balzers in my head. I need to spray these smaller ones with the uh, more coming off the edge here. There we go. Perfect. Oops. Now we need to get another sponge. This one's yellow. Hold on, I need to change my camera just a bit. Hold on, get my settings open here. I need to move it this way. Oh, there we go. Better, better, better. So I don't have to worry about staying on the screen and getting it too far away from me. Uh oh, bye Sam. Good night, thank you for coming. Yeah, I know, but that just looks like another cloud. No big deal. It's not as bad when it's the cloud. Okay, so now for the RCMP part, what did I do with it? Oh no, what did I do with that stencil? Uh oh. Where to put it? Oh no. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. That's my, that's my little dude. Hmm. Where's the RCMP one? Oh, I bet. Oh, I hope it didn't fall behind my desk. Cause I think I had it on my, oh darn. Well, maybe I'll have to, uh, I had it back there, but the thing is I picked up, darn it, darn it. Well, I lost my better stencil so I'm going to have to uh, under my sponge no oh it is there <laughs> thank you thank you Carrie I was looking all over do you think I could see it no but okay so all right so I have a question for you guys I'm going to do my hands you know that 
my jet my hands up and I think I'm gonna do those across the bottom so But they won't, yeah, they won't be clear for long. <laughs> Only until I get paint on them. So I think I'm going to do jet, the jet, the hands across the bottom. So I guess I'll put this right up here in the clouds. Oops. And I guess I better dry my clouds. Because it's not dry yet. <clears throat> I'm going to have to do it upside down because... Yeah, LJ, I bet. Because <laughs> this is sad, but it's also a victory because they did catch them. They caught them alive. Not necessarily my first choice, but we don't have death penalty in Canada. And now he'll have to spend the rest of his life in prison, I hope. Since it's three police officers he killed and terrorized a neighborhood, I'm pretty sure he won't be getting out. But, um... It's also a victory for them. Because for 30 hours, they stayed at it. They blocked off all of his exits out of the area he was in. There was no way he was going to escape as far as they were concerned, and he didn't. So, although there is terrible, terrible sadness, it is also a victory. So, yeah, I know I almost said jazz hands, but... Um, Welcome back, Eileen. All right, so I need to add, I don't know if this is still wet enough for me to add. Oh, there is, good. I can fix that spot there. Good, good, good. And anyway, okay. I'll fix that pole later. So let's do this, turn it upside down and Turn this upside down. And the colors of the RCMP are red and yellow. So I'm going to do them in red and yellow. So I need yellow. I'm going to do like a goldy yellow. And I need a red, red. A nice Canadian red. There we go. It's called red. Strangely enough. And I'm using dark yellow. So I'm going to trim off this silver. And I've cut it in half. Then I'll use one half for red and one for yellow because I'm going to need to use the small end of this. Oh shoot, too much, too much, too much paint. I'm going to have to do couple of layers I think of the red because as you know red's fairly translucent. Hey CB, nice to see you.
that's all been messed up, uh, CB, the emails. I don't know why. I have that option turned off for me, so I never get, I don't get it. I just try to remember or watch Twitter when people start, so. Most people are on at the same time, except for those who do the random ones, but. Hey, Dee Dee! Welcome back. So I just have to wait for that to dry a little bit before I put another layer on for those letters because I want it to be very, and I of course can't dry it because, well, I guess I could take it off and dry it. Oh, CDR, I messed up big time. Jean, you're really bad with this stenciling. Okay, hold on, because I'm going to use, just a second. I'm going to see if it does work better with these smaller stencils if I use the cosmetic sponge. Hold on here. Because it's more dense, maybe it'll work better. Okay, let me get my... Hold on. I'm just looking at the R to see. Go back with some blue paint. I'll fix that up. Yay, Jen. Okay, so. see in most cases where it's supposed to stop I'll do my when I do my second layer I'll be a little more careful and I'll use this sponge I'll cut it in half see if it works any better I forgot I had those until I was looking for my brayer and then I saw them okay hold on let me Try this first coat. <laughs> uh, oh, there's an idea, Pam. I can go back and outline. Definitely. That'll help cover. Yes, yes, yes. Good idea. I probably would be doing that anyway. With my, uh, what's it called? My peel away What's it called? Marker? Glass marker? Oh. Anyway. Made by Sharpie. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you can just use Krylon spray. Or you can use any, um, the, like, Tombow Mono Multi. Hold on. Where is my... I have it right here somewhere. I know I do because I saw it last week and I couldn't find it. There it is. This Tombow Mono Multi 
if you let it dry without sticking it to something, it's a temporary adhesive. It dries as a temporary. It drives permanent if you put paper to paper or whatever. But if you just leave it on the black paper to dry to the air, it dries as temporary. So you can use this on the back of stencils too. Spread it out or Aileen's tack it over and over mixed with uh, some water so it spreads easily. And I'm gonna wipe off, hold on, with my baby wipe. It got stuck in the black paint. I'm glad I noticed that. And I'm going to wipe off the back where it went under the stencil. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Let's try it with this. I'm new to this, so take it easy on me. Okay. plastic on my sorry if my head's in the way I apologize all right I need more red red's so transparent <laughs> pardon the pun but it is Now, I am Dee Dee. I am using a sponge. I tried my kitchen sponge and made a mess, so now I'm using a makeup sponge. And I'll see if I do a better job or not. The big reveal. That's better. I still have to fix the M, but that's okay. I'll fix it with my black. China marker. That's it. I was thinking glass, glass, china. No. And then fix this. Where's the M? Hold on, I gotta turn it upside down so I can see right where it has supposed to go. Okay, so I'm missing this up here. Miss. There it is. Okay, so I will fix that. Alrighty. Yes, there are kitchen sponges. That's what I usually use. But anyway, I've learned my lesson. It always worked until now, but I don't usually do. I usually do my jelly plate, but I, and I don't usually do small. <clears throat> okay, so I'll fix that. There we go. And let me dry that. And then I'll get my hands out. Hands up, baby, hands up. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to sing on your stream. Oops. Hey, 
Thank you, Dee Dee. hands out of here. Now you guys do know I'm going to call them jazz hands from now on, right? Mm. It's all your fault. I think I need the medium size one. So now I wonder, what would you guys do? Would you do black for these hands along the bottom border? Or would you do the red and um, yellow like the words? Yes, I would upload all of mine to YouTube, although Ustream has yet to get rid of any of mine. Mine are all there since before they made the changes before my New Year's. Sorry, I'm having a drink of coffee here. Oh, you're going to edit? Oh, see, Kyla, I don't edit mine. I just send it all to YouTube and people can do their own fast forwarding. <laughs> because it takes too long to edit it all and put it up. So I just send it. Anyway. Do you think black, Kyla? Oh, yeah. But I don't. This is, these silhouettes are representing the, the sadness I want the hands to represent the, you know, the good job, the well done. So I guess I will do it in, in black. What do you think? Oh, mm. or could I, should I do them in white? Maybe I should do them in white. White. I think white. Do you think white? I think white. I'm thinking white. Okay, black or white? Yeah. No, I think I'm going to do white. If I don't like the white, I can always do black. Right? I can always go over it with black. But I can't go over black with white. So I'm going to, well, not as easily. So I am going to try it in white and see what happens. And yes, I'm going to use another cosmetic sponge this time. I learned my lesson. No, I don't have any neon, I don't think. <laughs> I don't do neon. This green is as close to neon as I get. And I do love that. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do white. White hands. And start off the page. All right. Okay, here goes.
Let's hope I'm doing a better job. <laughs> Doesn't look like hands. Hold on, I gotta get the tops a little better. Doesn't quite look like fingers. I'm not sure what it looks like, but it doesn't look like fingers and hands. Sorry guys. <clears throat> Take my glass, put the glasses on top of my head here. Line up the bottoms, because then I'll know. Okay, all that. Here goes. This is definitely one that has to get some repositionable adhesive on the back of it. This poor guy only has two, one finger by the look of it. Hold on. I don't know what happened to his other fingers. Okay, gotta go slower. There you go, Jean. All right, slow down. Slow down the bus. Okay. Gracious, Jean. Gracious, gracious, gracious me. Well, this isn't turning out the way I wanted it to. doesn't look like hands. This looks like hands. Well, that's not working the way I want it. I'm going to put more green back on. I wonder if... What if... Oh, look at that. That came off very nicely. Thank you. if hmm yes I did Pam okay hold on let me try this one more time I'm going to start again yeesh I have to go slower because I mess it up when I go faster all right All right. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder. What if I did it with, um, hold on. Just a second, just a second. I have an idea. I got an idea. Sharpie. Hope the 
this works. At least on the finger part. part I can do with my sponge but at least if I get the fingers done with this part it's easier sorry guys I'm not watching the screen and I'm my head's probably in the way oops darn it Use that for that part, and then I use the sponge for the bottom part here. There. Does that work? Cross your fingers. Oh, that's even worse. Yikes! All right, that's even worse. There's my baby wipe. Okay. Well, I tried. Sharpie went underneath the stencil too. I guess this is coming off because it's uh, canvas paper. All right. Well, shall I give it one more try? It probably would have worked better as if I had Cut hands with my cameo. Oh, well, there's an idea. The white around the hand. Well, that's what I was thinking. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm going to try that. Hold up. I've got, because I've got the hands, right? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the boat. That's what I was just thinking, you know. But let's fix the green. Let's fix the green first. I'm going to add some more green here. So the white will show up better. Bye, Dee Dee! Green sponge and I've got black everywhere so I best get that off my fingers oh because I touched oh that's why because I have a whole bunch of black paint left that's why because I thought I was gonna do this in black and then I didn't so let's get some of this uh, green back here Oh no! Oh no! Yeesh! Crap. I didn't see that. You guys should have warned me. Dang it. Paint everywhere, I say. Paint everywhere. Now, my credit card, which is all messed up with black paint. Hold on. All right, I'm going through tons of baby wipes just already today. Just trying to fix mistakes. But anyway, oh well, I guess mistakes can be fixed. Er. Okay. Make sure I don't have any black on there. All right, so let's get my texture back here. I 
Okay, so let's dry that. Gosh darn it. <sighs> All right, now where did the mask go? I took it out. Where did it go? I hope it didn't fall on the floor. Uh, did you guys see where my hands mask went? There it is. Phew. And I've got black paint on it, of course. Hold on. got to get rid of this stupid plate because it's got so much black paint on it it's getting everywhere <sighs> and find something else I can use there's a mask or there's a palette there this will work it's the backing from some that acetate thing that'll work okay hold on I'm gonna get black off my fingers so I don't spread it everywhere. You would cut them out, do you think, Eileen? Okay, well I can do that. Let me finish drawing this. So let me see how many I would need. One, two, three, three sets should work. I don't know the settings for my Okay, hold on, let me open my See if I can find some white cardstock somewhere. That's the next thing. Get some open my silhouette software. Okay. All right, folks. I'm just opening my silhouette software here so I can. Oh, my silhouette's got stuff in front of it. Ah. Uh, let's see if I can move here. And well, I guess I could just use printer paper, right? So, if I'm going to just use printer paper, I wonder what thickness I would need to have it on for printer paper. Hmm. And where's my mats? Oh, my mats are underneath. Underneath it. So I guess the blade depth would only have to be on one, probably. Does anyone ever cut with their Cameo just printer paper? Hey, Pam. Pam G, and we have Pam G, Pam K. Okay, so, um, um, I'm just going to try it on one because I'm pretty sure it'll cut it at one. So that should work. I just have to remember when I go to cut my stencils that I changed the depth. Hi, 
Jen. I'm going to cut what Jess said. Wait now, hold on. Where's Jess? Cut slow with printer paper. Oh, okay, thanks, Jess. So like one or two for the cut. All right, so let me open up. Oh, here, let me, mm, hold on. Let me get you guys over here to watch me here. Uh, my desktop and cut. There, can you guys see my desktop now? Move my chat over here for a minute. Can you guys see my, oh, they probably can't hear me now though. Hold on. Just a second. Can you hear me still? Hello? Oh, I think you can hear me. Can you hear me still, everyone? <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go to library. Oh, no, I don't have it saved in my library. Never mind. I don't think. No, I don't. Close the library. Open hands. Okay, so I don't need this large size. What I want is the medium size. And I need it cut three times. Duplicate. And let's flip those. Oh, it's the same anyway. Okay, anyway. Duplicate again. All right. So that's what I need. This one I'm going to have to put it, flip it. Is it at 11? Yeah. Okay, so that'll work. All right, then cutting preferences, and I'm going to switch to copy paper. Copy paper says two. Oh, okay, I need to switch back up. Hold on. Two. speed 10 so it's will do less than 10 this will take a little while you guys and let's put the mat in get it lined up with my sharpie mark And silhouette and it's cut so let's bring you guys back to my desktop my dirty desk there I'll give you that to read okay suggested pattern paper oh that would have been an idea well she should have said it sooner huh I don't know if I 
didn't have anything that would cut it cool on my powder face or not. I don't want to add too much to it though, that's the thing. I don't want to add, I want it to be plain and simple. Mm. Hi Tanya. speed four and it's fine because it take by the time my that stencil's cut it takes me that long to clear the mat from the stencil before I get I have two mats going all the time when I'm cutting my stencils so yeah I'm still learning I've only had it not even a week yet so yes I can color the white Elaine, do you have dyes? Do you have a big shot or cuddle bug and dyes? Because you can make stencils out of a lot of your dyes if you have a, a dye. Uh, all you have to do is instead of cutting it with paper, cut it in plastic, or you can cut it in paper and cover it with Mod Podge or Matte Medium and it'll turn it into a stencil. Oh, a Canadian map. Huh, now that would have been smart. All right. You know, it probably would have been easier in this case to um, stencil with paper simply because once it gets wet, it kind of gets sticky. This is just a JPEG I found online and I just traced it and put those over there, um, made it into a stencil. So. Janet. Hi, Janet. So. Okay. So, now peel these off. Get my, uh, hold on. Where'd it go? Constantly losing my spatula. It hides in my thing. Please excuse the stupid fruit flies. A dang banana went bad on me. Two bananas went bad on me. On the, I'll use a palette knife. Two bananas went bad on my counter and I didn't notice it and now being attacked by fruit flies trying to find something to eat so I've had to get rid of all my garbage bags today because there we go so now I have to decide whether I want to color these or just leave them white we'll see So that two cut perfectly, but it probably could have taken one because I can, there's a good amount of cutting through the page there. Okay, there. And one more set.
and I'm going to put, I'm just going to do it in handwriting, always get their man underneath there. So, because they do, and they did. And thank goodness for the heavy rainfall, because I think that's what really did it in. That was just the last straw for him. Okay. Oh, that's an idea, Jen. I just didn't get time to yet. I pull, I hauled all the garbage out. Did that much. And, uh, okay, I'll leave that there. Okay. So I'm wondering, there. Now, wonder where it is. I have my mat medium in a bottle, and I don't know where it is. Oh well, I've got the leftover here. Must have fallen behind my desk. Must be on the floor. Hm. Okay. So what do you guys think? Does it need, it needs to have this little one torn off here. I'll just do it that way, I guess. Okay, hold on. I have to just do a little repair work here. So... <clears throat> uh, which reminds me, now that the, the post office was closed the end of this week, I have to look up, I have sold my cricket, so we just have to figure out the best way to get it and cheapest way to get it to the buyer. Some are bent a little bit. Okay, what do you guys think? Should I color them or... Um, or just leave them white? What do you think? I used my Cricut all the time, which is why I knew I would use the Cameo. I just was thinking that uh, people talked about how it can do more intricate cuts. I was thinking it would probably be faster. There are some options that the it will do much more easily than the Cricut, like um, cutting perforations, that kind of thing. Um, so... So what do you guys think? Yeah, it does look like fancy hands. I think I'll just leave it white. You would color them, Janet? What color though? That's the thing. What color? Silver. Oh, I need to color them in silver, right guys? If I do them silver like the clouds, that'll bring that and shade around them? Or do you think silver, Eileen? So, okay, here's the options. Silver, I mean, I'll be shading around them anyway, but should I leave them white or should I paint them silver? There's the question. 
it looks like a white picket fence okay all right leave them white okay all right so leave them white and shade around them okay so get my matte medium here and my brush okay here it goes this has been sitting upside down so it should have enough to put in the uh, lid here okay brush I didn't get it washed out very well it's not even flexible anymore <laughs> it's my my it is my glue brush but still <laughs> okay hold on I'm putting the glue on the back of this over here and okay hold on oops I don't want to break any thumbs off here. I'll go up so that I don't wreck any of the fingers. Oh, Sharon. thinking too was the white it was that's that was my original thought after I got over the red and yellow idea that wasn't really an idea I was just thinking about how to get the color in more the red and yellow but I never think of collaging. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys reminded me, got me to think of this. I think it, Carrie, it was Carrie initially, I think, who said to cut it from paper. Or she's the first one I saw in the chat. Yeah, it is a Joycey brush. It's a little more together than Joycey's, but it is stiff. I think if I soak it in some nail polish remover, I might be able to soften it up a bit. <laughs> she has been it's kind of scary but that's because Dana's not here with her so we can blame it on Dana don't tell Dana I said that though have my glue water in here because I took it out to empty it and I didn't take it back in and this is not going to be very good because now I've got it all over the lid hmm. so let's tail end of what didn't fit in my liquid detergent bottle.
Okay, so let's dry those suckers down since we finally made a decision. Of course, with them wet with the matte medium, it's made them a little more translucent, so green th shows through a little bit, which is fine. They're all complimenting, for those of you who are watching the recording, they're all complimenting Eileen on behaving tonight with her blue shirt mod, blue shirt. Yeah, and I said that's because Dana's not here or Jamie. Hey, where's Jamie? She must be playing with her granddaughter. Well, I mean, arching, playing arch or something. Jamie's usually here. But I know she has one of her granddaughters there for the week, so. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So now, trim. Actually, I should use my cutter bees. I'll use my china marker. To shade. Oops, I'm actually cutting the canvas jean. See, I can't even cut when there's a ridge, ridge there to cut along straight. So bad with scissors. The grade oneers can cut better than me. So, okay. There we go. Now let's find my black china marker. Ugh. Right here. I just have to reach a little bit. Ugh. I'll use the white one on the clouds. Maybe we'll see. So I've got a, I've got black and white china markers here, made by Sharpie. Oh, hello! This way, this way. I think I'll do white around the clouds. Does that make sense? They smudge nicely. Well, the black one does. We'll see if the white one smudges as nicely or not. It doesn't seem to. I may have to use... Oh, maybe I just have to rub. I was pressing too hard. Ah, they don't smear as nicely on canvas as they do on my journal, smooth journal paper. That's okay, they're smear smearing a little bit. Night, Sharon! Trying to make clouds look a little fluffy.
I wonder, wonder who, 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 who wrote the book. Yeah, they were 89 cents each. Hello, how could you go wrong? I got them at Desairs. No, they were, it, well, it was a combo, combination of this Dinah and this. But this is canvas paper, so it's just like working on a canvas board. It's quite textured, so that's why they're not smudging as much. And the white just doesn't seem to smudge. The black is smudging a little more. But, of course, it has matte, matte there's matte medium here, so, of course, it will smudge more anyway because it's sealed. I want to smudge onto the white too much. I want to keep the shadow in the green part as much as I can. I should have got a Q-tip would work nicely. But I'm too lazy to get up and get one. Even if I don't smudge it, it still needs to be outlined, so. Oh, I know. I bet. Hold on, we're going to snip the top corner off this. I bet that'll smear it really good because it'll get in between. My finger's not getting in between the little sections here. Let's see if that'll help. Oh, I might have cut too much off then. Let's use the whole thing. Well, I think part of it's the heat of your finger that makes it melt. Ah. Oh, a paper? Oh, well, I don't know what a tortillon is, but I do have a paper stump. That will smudge it, won't it? Yeah, where's my little paper stub? Hold on. I've got a little one in here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Where are the little ones up here? Aha! I never think of these either. <laughs> Thanks. doing a trick. Thank you, Tanya, for making me think. Paper stump. Oh, can't go too hard, though, because I'm pulling the paper apart.
I see Jen's quite a ways behind the, because she just now is hearing me say cut the, and I meant end off, but I didn't finish saying it. too much there. This was working great. Now I have to remember this next time I go to next time I go to do something like this again. I don't have any gamsel, but I have the paper stumps. So that's good. And I don't need the gamsel really with this with the china markers, so. <sighs> yeah. Now I have to figure out what I'm gonna take with to my mom's because I'm going to babysit my mom. Oh, no, I'm not babysitting my mom. My sister is going to Germany for her granddaughter's birth end of June, first two weeks of July. So I will be at my mom's for two and a half weeks. There's no way I can take my jelly plate and all my craft paint home. So I might have to just make it two weeks of practice. Maybe I can do, oh, I have a sketchbook or a sketch coil Strathmore thing, so maybe I can practice my faces and drawing. Gamsol? No. Gamsol is a brand name of odorless mineral spirits, that's all. And it blends waxy materials. It blends wax. So you use it with, this is me sounding like a professional. I only know this because I've watched YouTube. <laughs> Just saying. Um, Uh-oh, that one got a little messy. Um. Um, blends prismas, color pencils, that kind of thing, so that they look like paint instead of pencils. I wonder if. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. Jeez Louise. Whose brilliant idea was this? I should have edged them before I put them down. That would have made my life a lot easier, you know. 
I could have inked them with black soot before I put them down. <sighs> well, I guess that wouldn't have turned out exactly the same. Oh, darn it. That one got on his finger. I've looked a couple times for a Gamsol at Michael's, and they must have it. I just can't see it, obviously, on the shelf anywhere. quarters of the way done. Woohoo. Oops. Ah! Dang it! I think I have another one because I too lazy to bend it. That down on the ground. Shh. Just don't drop this one, Gina. You'll be getting down on the floor. I've got a piece of plastic underneath my chair, and I don't know what it's from. Oh, it's the bag from my cricket or er, cameo mat. Great. Ah. <sighs> This is worse than watching paint dry. Watching me do this. And all these little fingers. And... Sheesh. It won't be so bad once I get to the mounty. Okay, now let's do this guy.
thank you. Okay, so there's the shading for that. Now, let's see what I can do with this. I think what I need to do is get my little brush here, my teeny tiny brush, and some blue paint. Don't need much. I think maybe I'll just use it right from the bottle. That's probably the best thing to do. And use this for my reference. There, just need to make a, make a few little mis, uh, corrections there. Now I need to do, go around it with my... So I need to dry it. Everybody in the chat's talking about modeling place and speckle. And I am going to go around all of the edges with white, I think, to kind of counteract those hands on the bottom. to make my letters pop. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use that for these. I think I'm going to use, does this work? Better make sure it works first before I try to use it. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm just going to go around it with 
black pen, I think. I don't know. I want it. I want to go around it with black first. I don't know what happened to my black big, my other big pens, but anyway. We'll see if this works as well as the crystal ones. No, it doesn't. It is not. So, Joycey. Thank you. Love you too. Then I'm going to go around with the black shading. This might hide up, hide more of the errors I made here. call it on it will the bread my Brad pit pen smear I thought they wouldn't smear when you don't have um, matte medium on them oh Pam G your daughter should tell you how to get rid of commercials because I helped her at Patty's get rid of those silly commercials all right. All right. true Tanya I, I could put some matte medium on it <laughs> yeah but well, that would be a thought wouldn't it okay I just have to do it fast will I do it with my paper stump all right let's try it with my Brad Pitt pen I didn't think it would smear unless she had matte medium okay hold on all right of course I already got this one done all right Actually, it's a little easier to do it with the paper stump than my finger. Paper stump works great. Okay, well, that's good to know. I thought you could only do the smearing of the Brad Pitt pens with the uh, matte medium, so yeah, that's good to know. I would have done it on all the hands if I'd known that. Gosh darn it. 
made it a lot easier. But now she tells me I'm all done. Oh, <laughs> It's, it's funny, I got an ad for the first time on Project Free TV last night. It was really weird. I was trying to watch something, and I heard this other voice in the background. I was like, what the heck's going on? And my TV show was starting, and this commercial was on. I was like, and it, the window was down below all the other windows. <laughs> so it was, like, funny, because it, usually it blocks everything. Anyway, it was funny, because I didn't know where this voice was coming from. Didn't finish up above the horse here either. Oh, and I took the gray one, not the black one. Well, that's okay. That works just as well, especially for the black Mountie. I was wondering why it wasn't very dark. I just realized that I had the gray one in my hand, not the black one. One more. Let her. Uh, didn't get it up far enough there, I guess. There we go. there okay so does the shadow on it for the horse and the flag look okay you guys Ooh. needs something right along the uh, sorry right along the uh, grass line here Oh, yep, uh, yeah, I'm at 235, thank you. Yep, I'm fine. I'm at 235, thanks for the reminder. I just may have to make sure I have lots of paper stumps on hand because I think I'm going to be going through them like crazy. It's just easier to do than your finger because your finger gets sore. I ended almost ended up with a blister with my last project rubbing.
there. There, that looks good. Okay, now I just need to get, always get their man underneath. And I think I will do it with Where did I start? A L W Maybe I should put always get their man in the hands. <gasps> ooh ooh. Jen, there should be, right by where it says music scrap, is there a tab with? Bye, CB. Okay. What do you think if I put always get their man in the hands? What do you think of that, you guys? You guys? What do you think, huh, huh, huh? A L W A Y S G E T T H E I R M A N. And then there's four left, three left. So I'll start here. I think I'm going to do it there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Don't make a mistake, Jane, with the letters. and an apostrophe. Bravo. All right. Still have some touches to add here. goodness too funny well I thought it was gonna get to some jelly plating today too but I guess I'll have to stream another night and show my new uh stencils
I'm glad at least it's letting me record this whole thing because Thank you. Oh, oops, I almost forgot. Little cloud over here. And thank you to Tanya for this saving my finger thing with the paper stump, because I never would have thought of using that. Save me a blister or two. There we go. There we go. A tribute to our RCMP who always get their men. I may need a little extra. I need to put a little bit more matte medium along. Oh, 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 speaking of which, I need some white paint because I want to go around the edge with white. Or should I use my white? Pit. Oh, hold on. I'm going to use my white pit pen and a larger stump. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I've got, I've still got 15 minutes so I can, I can finish this and we'll see, we'll see. I've got to add some more matte medium on that because it's coming up in a couple of spots. So I guess I'll do the white around first and then I'll do the... I think I have to use my finger for this because I want more of a... I don't answer those calls. Don't want to be bothered by someone trying to sell me something. Usually a new credit card and I don't need any more of those. Mm. Okay, so. Good. I just want to light now in between the hands here.
got to get my matte medium out again. <sighs> Put a little extra back on here. Mostly along the bottom here that's not kind of Tanya, cool. All right, let's just dry her and then I'll give you a finished final preview. Sorry, <laughs> I apologize. It's rude to yawn. Thank you, Eileen. play game those kinds of video games I'm hooked on I love bejeweled I like <laughs> when I'm really tired and can't sleep I play uh, spider solitaire and I like bejeweled and I like bookworm so I play chains some Although I did enjoy um, the Star Wars game, I enjoyed those where you had to go into all the different rooms and I did enjoy that, but some of them are just too violent for me, but that one was bad enough, but okay, so there we go. Oh, I still didn't get that glued down right on that edge. Darn thing. That finger just might have to come off. <laughs> it might have to be amputated. Uh, there we go. Oh, and I have to sign it. Where to sign it? Should have done it with that. Okay, I haven't had my Nintendo out in ages. So there we go. Bravo, bravo. So I'm just going to stop this recording. So this is a tribute page to our wonderful RCMP here, remembering the three that were lost but celebrating the wonderful capture and their wonderful work that they did. Thank you so much. <laughs>